This is the only video you will ever need to watch for the limits of connection requests, messaging, and other limits on LinkedIn. Hi, my name is Chris Casalino, and I am the co-founder and head of services at Uptown Creation, a guerrilla marketing and LinkedIn lead generation company. So before I hop into things, I wanted to make this video just because there's a lot of misinformation and just outdated information. So back in early 2021, LinkedIn made it so you can only send 100 connection requests out each week, and that is no longer the case. That number has increased, and I'm going to tell you what that number is, and it's going to be a range. What most people don't like hearing is that there is no hard and fast rule a lot of the times for these limits. They're going to be account specific and based on a ton of different variables, but what I can give you is a solid range that you can stay within. So without further ado, let's hop into the connection request limits. Before I jump into it, if you get value throughout this video, please consider subscribing and giving us a like. It really helps us out and is a free way to support us. So connection request limits. As I mentioned, people think that this is 100 connection requests a week, and that just isn't true anymore. So I work with hundreds and hundreds of LinkedIn accounts each and every day, and I'm really hands-on with those accounts. And that's the reason why I know that these limits change. What a lot of companies and individuals won't figure out ever, or it'll take them years to figure out, is what those changes are because they're not actually pressing the buttons. They're having a bot do it. They're having other people do it. They're not the ones that are actually the practitioner of the craft. So that is one of my superpowers and the ability to find out what these numbers are very, very, very quickly. So what we've found from all of our testing is that 200 to 250 connection requests a week is really the range that you want to sit within. So what I recommend to people is doing 25 to 50 connection requests a day, and you can even alternate this. So do 25 connection requests one day, 50 the next, 25, 50, and so on and so forth. And that'll give you kind of a nice cadence to it as well. There's 25 people on each page within LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So let me just bring up a search really quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So as you can see on my screen right now, there is a list of pharmacists that I will connect with. And each of these pages has well, 25 people on it. So LinkedIn will only show you 100 pages. So this is a little side tip. So there's 100 pages, 25 connections on each page potentially. So even if you have a result of 5,000 results, LinkedIn will only show you 2,500 results no matter what. So a lot of times you'll have to break down searches um, by using years of current experience, years at current company, things like that that you can break down and get those 2,500 batches of saved searches. So that is the connection request limit that I would stay within. 200 to 250 a week. If you hit the connection request limit one week, maybe lay off the next week and then try to go up a bit the following week and shoot for that 250 range. But if you're running into a block earlier, just know that that's going to get lifted the following week and continue on testing. Test, test, test is going to be your best friend. The next limit that I wanted to go over is LinkedIn messaging limits. And there's a lot of misconception with this. So I'm going to go over messaging limits itself, as well as in-mail limits. So the messaging limits to first degree connections, this is a really important one. And from all of the testing that I've done, I've sent thousands, you know, up, up to 5,000 messages a day sending to first degree connections. So obviously you need to be connected with enough people to take advantage of this, but most people run into problems and I'll show you why. So LinkedIn does have limits in place that trick the bots and make it so bots are not able to send out nearly as many messages as you could do by hand. And the reason why is if you're on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, by clicking these three dots and then hitting message, this is how I send out messages through people. So I can create a saved search and then go down the list and send out messages this way. The way that bots do it is they will open up each and every sales navigator profile or URL and LinkedIn profile. So this is where the limit exists. The limit exists at how many profiles you can view on a daily basis. And that's when you'll run into blocks. You'll run into blocks by viewing too many profiles, not by sending too many messages. 
So what I would recommend doing, if you really want to get a lot of messages out, you have an event coming up tomorrow and you need to message everybody and there's no way around it, you need to do that by hand. So you can hire a VA to do that or you could do it yourself and just power through messages by creating a first degree connection saved search and lead list. So remember that there are no limits on the amount of messages you can send to a first degree connection. There are limits on how many profiles you can view each and every day. And this is what gets you into trouble. Moving on to in-mails. So a lot of people think that you can only send as many in-mails as you has, have credits for. LinkedIn currently gives 50 credits to Sales Navigator members each and every month, and that can stack up to three months. So you can stack up to 150 in-mail credits at any given time. Um, but if you see this golden IN badge next to somebody's name, that means that they are a premium subscriber and likely an open profile. The way that you will know for sure if they're an open profile is opening up the message and then you'll see in the message it says free to open profile. Every now and then you'll have somebody that has turned that off, but the default setting for new premium users is to be an open profile, but users can turn that off. And if they do that, you'll see that you'll be using a credit and that is the best way to do it. So you can send up to 800 in-mails each and every month, and this will roll over on the first of every month. So. This is really good for testing out new demographics as well as trying to get a hold of more people and just increasing that overall volume. Um, in-mails are not as good as making a first degree connection just because it's kind of a one and done approach. Whereas when you make a first degree connection, you're a first degree connection with that person forever. You can message them whenever they'll see your content. They might engage with your content and you get kind of all of those additional benefits. In-mails are a good way to Kind of bridge the gap as you're still building that connection base. So I went over the two main topics, connection requests and messaging limits. Hopefully this provided a good amount of value. And if you don't have LinkedIn Sales Navigator and want to give it a try, there's a 60 day free trial down in the description below. You can't get that link anywhere else. Usually it's only a 30 day free trial, but we are affiliate partners with LinkedIn, which allows us to have that 60 day free trial link. I'd highly recommend that you use it if you've never used a free trial before and, you know, get your, get your feet wet with LinkedIn sales navigator and check out some of the other videos where I go through our outreach process. That's going to guarantee that you get results. Now the limits that I'm going to go into for the rest of the video, I want to kind of re or I want to give you the rundown of what those limits are going to be. And you can choose what you're interested in listening to. I'd recommend listening to all of it but I will make it so you can kind of skip around and listen to what is interesting to you. So I'll talk about the limits of how many people you can upload as a CSV file to kind of bypass the connection request limits. If you don't know that strategy, I've made a video about that that you can check out on the channel. I'll go over the engagement limits. So how many likes and comments you can do. I'll go over the pending connection request limit. So this is an important one as well, because this will, have some impact on how many connection requests you can send. I'll also go over the number of messages you can send to second and third degree connections from an event or a group. So you can send messages to people that you're part of the same event or same group without being connected with them, but there are limits there. And then finally, the lists on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, the limits of how many people can be in each list. So we'll start off with the CSV upload. If you don't know how to do that, I'd recommend checking out some of the other videos on my channel where I go over that strategy. In short, you will scrape email addresses and then go to this My Network area, add personal contacts, more options, and then hit this Upload a File button. And then that will allow you to upload a CSV. You can upload up to 10,000 personal connections that way, and then you'll have to remove them if you want to add any more. So the limit for this is going to be 10,000 people that you can upload and have added through that method. So this is the way to bypass the connection request limit that people discovered. It's still a really good way to bypass the 200 to 250 connection request limit, but it's not as important since that limit for connection requests has increased. So as far as engagement goes, how many likes and comments can you leave on a, po a post or multiple posts throughout the day? So these limits are going to be pretty high. Liking and commenting is something that LinkedIn wants you to do. Engaging with other people's content is great. And it's going to be different for every account. You know, from my testing, 
I've hit the limits going on the upper end of, you know, 300 to 500 engagements a day. So that's 300 to 500 likes and or comments each and every day and doing that consistently. You will hit a limit if you're doing that many, but for the most part, for the most part, most people won't run into that issue. Pending connection requests. So pending connection requests, if you don't know how to remove those, you should check out the video that just popped up on your screen. That is one of my most popular videos just because it makes it so you can withdraw connection requests extremely fast. The way that you can check out how many pending connection requests you have is again, going to my network, hitting see all, and then hitting sent. So you can see I have 257 people here, which is not a ton of people. There'd be a hundred people on each page. So if you scroll down, you'll see that, that there's three pages for me. Um, there's two pages of 100, one page of 57. The limit that I would try to stay under is staying under between 1,500 and 2,000 pending connection requests. It's not going to be the end of the world if you go above that, but you're not going to want to stay at that point for too long. And if you start running into connection request limits, so getting into you know under 200 connection requests is all that you're able to send a week, it's probably because of those pending connection requests. And you're going to want to take that down. Again, the only caveat to that is you have to withdraw them manually and you can't do it in bulk. So check out the video of how I do that really quickly. I'm going rapid fire here. So I've got two more topics, the event and group messages. So event and group messages. This is, I'll use this LinkedIn Spark event as an example. So once you mark yourself as attending an event, you're able to see the other attendees. So you can send messages to people even if you're not a first degree connection with them. This is a really great way to send additional messages on top of the first degree connection messages, on top of the in-mail messages. If you want kind of a third way, this is the strategy for you. What I've found from my testing is anywhere from 75 to 100 messages this way is gonna be the limit. So this is kind of a weird limit though because what I've found is that it seems to be a weekly limit that exists there as well. So you might be able to send up to 150 messages one day by coming back at different times throughout the day, but that'll make it so you can't send as many out later in the week. The weekly limit for this is gonna be somewhere around the tune of 400 to 600 messages from my testing. Some accounts are outliers and they're on the lower end. Some accounts are outliers and they're on the upper end, but that 400 to 600 range is really what I found from my testing. And that's a really, really powerful way to get a ton of messages out throughout a month. I mean, even if you're sending 400 messages this way, that is going to be 1600 messages a month just through this method. If you send 800 emails on top of that, that's going to be 2400 messages a month. And then if you're sending out connection requests, assume that you get 300 to 400 at a minimum new connections, that's going to put you at 27 to 2800 messages that you're able to send out to LinkedIn to your ideal prospects and leads each and every month. So, you know, even if you get a 1% conversion rate on those, that's still a really high number of call bookings and chances are you're going to get a lot higher than a 1% conversion rate. Finally, the last topic that I want to talk about is the cap on lists within LinkedIn sales navigator. So there's account lists, which are going to be your company lists. There's lead lists, which are going to be individuals. We use this as kind of a mini CRM definitely check out that video because that's probably one of the in most innovative things that we do at Uptown Creation and really makes it easy to do outreach on a daily basis. You're able to log into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, know exactly where to go, exactly who you need to contact, and it will save you a ton of time. Each and every list is able to save 999 people. So if you get to 999 people and you're wondering, you know, why aren't these people saving to this list anymore? it's because you've hit that cap. So the thing to do then is just to create another list, title it the same name, but maybe title it, you know, number two or number one or number three. So hopefully this video was helpful. I know I went through things really fast. So feel free to go back to anything that you missed. These limits are also a really good way for you to identify strategies that you might not have known. So when I talk about the limits of a certain method, 
and you're not employing that method, it's probably something that you want to think about employing if you're really trying to get the most bang for your buck out of LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you found this video valuable, please consider giving us a subscribe and liking this video. Comment any questions that you have below and you can check out all of our content on our YouTube channel and even book a discovery call with us at uptowncreation.com. Thanks for watching.